Hi, I'm Ramya, Embedded Software Engineer at Microsoft Technologies. Welcome to this presentation on the Target Device Communication Interface, which is TDCA. Today, I will walk you through its functionalities, architecture, and how it expands the capabilities of real-time applications running on a host machines. Let's see TDCA. What is TDCA? So TDCA is designed to extend the power of applications on an x86 host machine by simulating a real-time operating system. It enhances the ability of developers to connect and control real hardware devices from their host machine, enabling more efficient development and testing. Okay, what is host applications? See, host applications which are programs that run on a computer and communicate with the external hardware. Here, through TDCA, these applications can send command and receive responses from target devices. And ATAS is a essential for managing hardware resources and guaranteeing a timely responses to real-world events. TDCA extends ATA simulators, enabling developers to execute hardware abstraction layer, which is HAL. This functions on the host while interacting with the physical hardware. Uh, this means you can test hardware dependent applications on your PC by simulating hardware actions and receiving real world feedback. TDCA HAL abstraction uh, hardware actually it complexities providing a standardized API to simplify development and improve portability across different platforms. TDCA host-based libraries actually translate the high-level function calls into comments for the target hardware, while the target monitor firmware listens for and executes these comments on devices like Arduino or Cortex board. Here, a very simple USB serial interface uh, connects the host to the target, ensuring a reliable data exchange. TDCA currently supports popular development boards like uh, Arduino and Cortex. Uh, in future, uh, we can support further more boards. Um, by simulating these real hardware interactions, developers can reduce their time while also improving the quality of their application. When host application make hardware API call, uh, TDCA sends command via serial communication to the target where the commands are executed. Target then send the function return code back to the host and maintaining a seamless two-way communication. So this is what device control mechanism of TDCA. Here this uh, TDCA ATA simulated image illustrates the architecture of Microsoft's TDCA within the ATA simulator framework. It highlights how app go with its various ATAS interfaces allows developers to create and test C++ applications in a simulated environment. TDCA is a key to connecting the simulator on the host platform with actual target devices like Arduino or Cortex. Here, we are using a serial communication between the host platform to the target devices. Developers can control and monitor actual devices, facilitating a seamless development, testing and debugging of embedded applications. So, you can understand that how this TDCA plays a vital role for uh, uh, host and target devices. Here we can see an example of how this TDCA 
can be applied in a, a traffic light system. Okay, let's see the console output for this project. Here, uh, you should add tdci.h include and then tdca init. So, this is the API telling you which board you are connecting either uh, Arduino or Cortex. And uh, this is the API making the serial connection between host and target. So, you should give as per your uh, system com port number. And then now I am going to run by right click open with system editor. So, here you can see the console output which is using a mutex uh, for handling every commands so mutex ensures that only one task either on the host or target can read or write to prevent data corruption or unexpected behavior so multiple tasks on the host or target may want to send or receive commands at the same time a mutex ensures that when one task is sending a command, no other task can interfere until the mutex is released. So this ensures that commands are handled in a well-defined sequence and uh, avoiding the data corruptions where commands could overlap or get lost. So for that purpose, we are using mutex for handling every commands between host and target. You can see the uh, command sent by the host and the response getting uh, from the target. So you may get either success or failure depends on the target uh, side resp hardware response. Coming to the hardware setup, this is my traffic management system hardware. So you can see my Arduino Uno board connected with the leds containing four lanes lane one lane two lane three and lane four having three different leds red yellow green i'm using blue instead of green i don't have so you can see the required wiring connections for the leds to the digital pins of the Arduino board now i'm going to show how it runs before it is i just want to reset the board make sure to run from the beginning so i am just uh, start running the console from my system and you can see that i am using a usb connection from my host pc to Arduino so that the command comes from the host to the Arduino board initially you can see that my transmit receive um, is enabling this is the indication that my host and target communication is happening initially i'm setting uh, all the leds should in off state now you see my lane one led green led is turned on other all threes are red so now lane one traffic is moving on now see L, L1 and L3 LO LED started waiting is going on and other or red state now lane 3 green is started and other 3 is red so each LED having a predefined delays based on that this LED is glowing you can see now L4 green is started and other three lanes are red. After each green state, there is yellow LED should glow for the waiting state. Now you see lane to green is started and other three lanes are red. So this is how the traffic management system works and we all know that but we how we are simulating that real time application into our Arduino based on our TDCA Artas application. 
so each host uh, commands are sending to the Arduino target and based on that my our or uh, LEDs are working on so this is how TDCA is taking part on that our task for sending and receiving commands based on that host commands that's it thanks for tuning in if you found this helpful stay connected for more artist related videos bye